this is a continuization of one of my more infamous videos. I've had two series of videos which have probably been the most infamous. Um, one being the Cena videos, which I still get a lot of hate about, and the other being the NWA videos, which probably not a lot of people know about, because not, not a lot of people are truly, you know, curious, I don't think, about the NWA. But, um, I did a video, for those of you who don't know, about a year ago, um, starting a year ago, when the NWA left TNA, and they parted ways with TNA, they announced they were going to do their own tournament to determine the champion. Um, I didn't agree with who was in the tournament, how the tournament was being run, didn't agree with a lot of things about the tournament. Um, agreed with how it eventually ended up um, with everything that that went on. It, 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 it's a pretty good story. The whole the whole thing is a pretty good story because it looked like Brian Danielson was going to be the guy for the NWA, and then Brian Danielson got his eye killed by Morishima, um, so he got nixed from the from the uh, from the finals, and it was Brent Albright versus uh, Adam Pierce um, in the finals and Puerto Rico of all places which was another thing that I didn't agree with that um, and you know and the, the, the tournament took place you know over I think four months period of time if I remember right There's a lot of things I didn't agree with it I ran it about it um, got a lot of emails got a lot of hate from people because of it particularly a lot of NWA um, fans um, and a, f a few you know probably NWA supporters as well that, that just, you know, didn't agree with what I said because I said a lot of things on that video. And uh, I did a follow-up video to it um, talking about um, comparing that video, that that tournament that was going to take place over a few months to the Ebola um, tournament from last year and just on name recognition alone. That was my big problems with the tournament was name recognition. And then eventually I, I did a final um, video talking about uh, talking about the finals of the tournament and um, how they took a bad thing and turned it to a positive, which I was very surprised with the NWA booking committee because I thought they did a really good job on that. And that, which of course led to them being on television with their television deal, which I'm still not entirely sure when or if there ever is going to be new stuff on the NWA uh, show, but. Somebody told me that they think there's new stuff on there now, but last time I checked, there wasn't. Um, all that said, uh, a week ago, um, I do think, and as, as it says in the description, I think the title does mean a little bit more today than it did a year ago, or that it did even a week ago. And the reason is, is because last Saturday, um, Ring of Honor um, hosted, hosted a NWA title match. And that NWA title match... Um, this is not the first one. The NWA, one of one of their ongoing um, angles was the fact that Adam Pierce had the NWA title in his in a briefcase. He was now the NWA title, and then he was now going to defend it in a ring of honor, um, which of course led to Brent Albright, who they had been having a feud in the NWA, and now they had been having a feud in Ring of Honor. So everything kind of merged. And last weekend, this is a big spoiler, but I don't really care um, if you don't like it, and too bad. Uh, Brent Albright and Adam Pearce apparently put on a hell of a match um, on and one of Ring of Honor's biggest shows of the year. A show that a lot of people said that were there and people that I respect, and not just people here on YouTube, but people all around the internet that I respect their live reviews because they usually get it pretty right. It was a show that had three must-see matches, and the NWA title match with Adam Pearce and Brent Albright, believe it or not, was one of those matches. They said it was an amazing match, old-school, just fun match that the fans completely got into because of because of their hatred for Adam Pearce and their love for Brent Albright. It all worked out, and the NWA, to their credit, posted a vid about the match because they felt it was that important, and, and to that I say, good for them, um, in which they... Uh, talked about that they, they gave a, a new belt to Adam Pierce, which was oddly enough the same belt that I believe uh, that I read this, that Harley Race had been given the same belt in Houston um, at one point and then lost the uh, the title, I think, to, to one of the Briscoe brothers, I think is what it was. I think it was I think it to, to, uh, to Briscoe. 
but um, I think if I remember if I'm reading it right, but he had lost the belt, and so they gave this to Adam Pierce um, before the match, and then and then Adam Pierce lost, and then uh, Reynolds Wright won. Um, they showed that they showed all the NWA officials were there, which apparently they've been there for uh, the other title match, the big title match, which is the one against Nigel. Um, which was kind of a unification match, which wound up with a screwy ending. But everyone knew it was going to have a screwy ending, so it was okay. Um, all that said, um, everything was there. It seemed like a big deal for the NWA. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna add this video. Um, I'm gonna put the this, the uh, the link in the description, so you can check it out. It's a pretty good video. Um, the NWA did a really good job with that. I felt. And I feel like, like I said, I think the title means a little bit more today than it did a week ago. <clears throat> and there's a lot of people that will still say the NWA title. Need, and if you if you read any of the spoilers, if you've read anything about this, a lot of people have commented that, you know, it's still, you know, it's the NWA title. Who cares? I still think it matters because I still think the NWA can still be something in the indies. Um, I still think that they can be kind of a brand for indie wrestling in particular. And because there's so much bad indie wrestling and there's so many promoters out there that, that are just crooks, in my opinion. Not not that, you know, most promoters are crooks, but, but crooks in a, in, in a bad way and give wrestling in a whole it's a bad, horrible na name. Um, and I have always felt the NWA could be a really driving force. They could really make it hard for uh, indie companies to get started um, and, and really put on good quality indie wrestling. Which I think is needed because I think one of the reasons I think it helps um, wrestling in general. I think it's good. I think it helps the wrestling business and all of those sort of things. And so I do think, in that sense, that it is important. Um, you know, a lot of people do discredit the NWA title. They say it hasn't meant anything since uh, the ECW debacle. And I've not always gone with that because I do feel that that Dan Severn having that title and showing that title on uh, the UFC events um, was a big, big deal. Uh, a lot of people don't think so, but I, you know, to, to me, even when I saw it, I thought it was kind of cool because even back then, the first time that he, he brought out the belt and um, NWA officials were with him and he was at the, and he was at the UFC event and um, the fact that here was a guy that was basically, the fact that he did so well, he did so well the first and the first time he, he was going to do it. I believe the second, I believe he had the belt the second time he was in the UFC uh, a tournament. And the fact that he took it on and, and that he won it, he won that. The fact that, um, and back in the day, you know, the original NWA champions back in the 40s and 50s, even when it was still fixed, uh, had to be able to go out there and do that because it was very easy for a guy to shoot on them. And if a guy shot on them, particularly as they were touring the country, if a promoter this guy shot on them because he wanted you know, he wanted the NWA champion, the NWA champion had to be able to you know defend that. And if you've if you've seen any shoots or if you've read anything about old school wrestling, you know that was always a big concern. And so I thought it was in a way it was pretty interesting because this was you know. Ultimate Fighting, in a lot of people's uh, opinion, was the closest thing to shoot wrestling, um, as professional wrestling as it once was, that we ever had. <clears throat> so I always felt that was a pretty big thing, and I've always felt that <clears throat> he was a good pick, and that his title reign is often looked down upon. And, I, and, and while it's, it's not necessarily the big, most important thing in the world, I, I do think that it gets a lot of, it, it's, it's a little bit more important than what people think. A lot of people will say, you know, it really didn't mean anything until TNA uh, started, and that's there, there's some truth to that too. But you know, the for when when TNA started, Ken Shamrock won that title, so another guy with an MMA background, which I, I still think is kind of important and kind of uh, symbolic in a lot of ways. And I and in you know sports and entertainment and and life in general, I do think symbolic things sometimes um, come back to back to help you. I, I think, you know, the good vibes and the karma and all of that thing, I do I do believe that they come back to help you at some point when, when you do things the right way and you pay honor to things that have happened before and, and the honor to what things are. I, I, I've always felt that. But, um, so I, I do think that as I've watched, 
the NW title means a little bit more today than it did before and it did before that. So I just wanted to kind of come on here and kind of talk about that. I could go on about Dan Severn forever. Um, I'm a big Dan Severn fan. Love Dan Severn. Um, but uh, anyways, uh, that's what I wanted to come on and talk about because I, I thought it was a pretty interesting interesting development, and I'm hoping that the NWA uh, takes advantage of this because to me, for the NWA title to truly continue to mean more and more and more, what it's going to take is for them to have a guy like Brent Albright. I don't know if Brent Albright's going to have, have a long reign, but if he does have a long reign, I think the thing that is good about that is that he's able to have good matches. Not that Adam Pierce can't have good matches, but Brent Albright is a guy that I think people would pay to watch him wrestle, not just pay to watch him talk, which I think is the case with uh, Adam Pierce. Um, they're paid to watch him wrestle, and I think he can have good matches, and I think if that's the case, then the NWA has a guy that people will want to see. And, you know, baby steps. And if he starts having great matches after great matches after great matches that people want to see, that will make that title mean that much more. That's why the Ring of Honor title means what it does today. That's why the tag the Ring of Honor tag titles, um, a lot of people would argue, I, I've seen this argued just about everywhere, um, to some extent that those are the, you know, you could, you could argue those are the most prestigious tag titles, not because of who held them, but because um, the fact that their matches are always so good, always this, that, or the other. Um, all of those sort of things, the reason why, you know, the the and Ring of Honor, the um, the uh, the pure title belt ended up meaning so much was because there were it, the match quality was there, and if the match quality is there, I believe with the NWA belt as well, um, thing it will it will just elevate that belt and and make that belt mean something because I think it, it, I don't think it will ever mean what it once did, but I do think it will mean something on the indie scales. And I think it will mean something to the diehard fans. I think if you can get them to to at least believe that it means something and believe that it's an important title, um, even if it's just the most important indie title, I, th I think that is an accomplishment, and I think that is something that's worth noting. So there we go with that. Um, that's all I got. I just wanted to come on here and talk about that a little bit because, you know, I, I had talked about it before. So uh, with that, I am out. Have a great one. Later.